this video, I'm going to show you how to do long division in algebra. Um, we're asked a question, show that 4x minus 1 is a factor of the cubic expression 12x cubed minus 55x squared plus 29 minus 4. And we do this by uh, dividing 4x minus 1 into the cubic expression. Here are the steps that I like to use for uh, long division in algebra. The step one is divide, step two multiply, step three subtract, step four bring down, step five repeat. Okay, so let's give it a go. Step one, divide. We're going to divide 12x cubed by 4x. Forget about this one for the moment. 12x cubed divided by 4x is 3x squared. We write the answer up there above. That's step one. Step two, multiply. So we're going to multiply this 3x squared by 4x minus 1. 3x squared multiplied by 4x is 12x cubed. 3x squared multiplied by minus 1 is minus 3x squared. That's step two, multiply. Step three, subtract. When I'm subtracting this here, I need to change both of these signs. Because if I'm subtracting, this minus is going to multiply by this plus to give us minus, and it's going to multiply by this minus to give us plus. So now, these two cancel. These always give you zero. These two, minus 55x squared plus 3x squared, is going to give us minus 52x squared. That's step three, subtract. Step four, bring down. I'm going to bring down the next term, which is 29x. So plus 29x. Step five, repeat. So that brings me back up here to divide. I'm going to divide minus 52x squared by 4x. That will give me minus 13x. Step two, multiply. I'm going to multiply minus 13x by 4x. Minus 13x by 4x will give me minus 52x squared. You'll notice that these numbers here are always the same. Minus 13x by minus 1 is plus 13x. That's step 2, multiply. Step 3, subtract. I have to change the value or the sign on both of these. So change minus to plus, plus to minus, and now I subtract. <clears throat> these two cancel to 0, they always cancel to 0. 29x minus 13x gives me 16x. That's step three, subtract. Step four, bring down. I'm gonna bring down the last term, which is minus four. And then step five, repeat. Back up to divide. So it's 16x squared, or 16x, sorry, divided by four x. 16x divided by four x is four. Step two, multiply. 4 multiplied by 4x is 16x. 4 multiplied by minus 1 is minus 4. Now you'll notice that I have the same terms here and here. When I subtract step 3, change both signs. That gives me 0. That gives me 0. Once I get 0 down here, that means I've no remainder. That means that 4x minus 1 has divided evenly into our cubic expression and therefore 4x minus 1 is a factor of the cubic expression. So I can finish it off by saying therefore 4x minus 1 is a factor of 12x cubed minus 55x squared plus 29x minus 4.
<clears throat> okay, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.